In the next few videos, we will see that every matrix is a relation and every relation on finite sets can be represented with a matrix. We are going to be interested in the operation of composing relations. And in order to get there, we're going to create the operation of multiplying matrices so that it carries with it the same information. As a result, matrix multiplication is pretty weird. So let's get started. Let A be a one by N row matrix, by which I mean that A is a matrix with one row and N columns. Let B be a N by one column matrix. Their Boolean dot product is denoted A circle dot B, and it is equal to the joins of the meets of the corresponding entries of the two matrices. For example, A1 meet B1, join A2 meet B2, etc., join AN meet BN. We can denote this with this big V notation that should remind you of your big sum notation from earlier videos. That notation is pretty horrible, but we can do an example to see that it's not actually so bad. Let's take the 1 by 5 matrix, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and take its Boolean dot product with the 5 by 1 matrix, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We will get 0 meet 0, join, 1 meet 1, join, 1 meet 0, join, 0 meet 1, join, 1 meet 0. 0 meet 0 is 0. 1 meet 1 is 1, 1 meet 0 is 0, 0 meet 1 is 0, and 1 meet 0 is 0. However, 1 join anything is 1, so it's the presence of the single 1 here that means that this Boolean dot product will be 1. In fact, we can say that the Boolean dot product is 1 if and only if there is a 1 in the same entry of both matrices. It is the second position that made our Boolean dot product equal to 1. There's a perspective here on Boolean dot products that's going to be useful. Let's suppose that we have the statement P of I, which is equal to I is prime on the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This statement is true for the numbers 2, 3, and 5. Conveniently, that is exactly where our 1's are in the first matrix. Consider also the statement Q of i, representing i is even on the same set. This is true for the second and fourth entries. So our Boolean dot product is answering the question, is there an integer in 1 through 5 that is even and prime? And the answer is yes, it's 2. Now that we have defined the Boolean dot product, we can define the Boolean product for larger matrices. Let A be an M by K Boolean matrix, and let B be a K by N Boolean matrix. Notice that the number of columns of A and the number of rows of B have to match. Their Boolean product is the M by N matrix, A circle dot B, whose entries are equal to the dot product of the ith row of A with the jth column of B. So in order to construct a Boolean product, we just take a bunch of Boolean dot products. Let's take the 2 by 4 matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and the 4 by 3 matrix, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. The entry in the first row and first column of the product is the first row of the left-hand matrix dotted with the first column of the right-hand matrix. This dot product is 
one meet zero, join, zero meet one, join, zero meet one, join, one meet zero. Exactly none of these disjuncts are one meet one, so the entire Boolean dot product is equal to zero. So that will be the first entry of our product. The first row, second column entry of our product is the first row of the left-hand matrix dotted with the second column of the right-hand matrix. Since both the first row and the second column have a one in the same position, our entry is going to be a one in the product. You can verify for yourself that the rest of the product is a zero in the first row, third column, a one in the second row, first column, a one in the second row, second column, and a zero in the second row, third column. Notice that multiplying Boolean matrices is quick once you understand how to quickly find Boolean dot products.